What's happening guys? We're back. We got a pretty interesting little project. It's interesting to me at least. All right, I told you guys we were gonna have a bit of change of pace for this episode. And you can't get much more of a change of pace than a smart car. Uh, this is a project for a buddy of mine, Jason. He's got a lake lot out in BC. And as everybody knows, the ideal form of transportation around a lake lot or lake community is a golf cart. Unfortunately, his, uh, his community or subdivision isn't gated. So technically they are BC roads. So the cops have been getting a little on their case. Eventually started fining and I think they even started impounding people's golf carts. Uh, no registration, insurance, etc., etc. So Jason came up with this concept. Take a smart car, rip the doors off, put a seat in the back. You got a fully registered road legal uh, golf cart. So he's done this in the past. Uh, this will be his third smart car. Uh, you know, he drives around the community and then people like him. So they buy him off of him and then he just builds another one. So this is number three, first electric one. Typically he gets Brennan over at How Is That Street Legal to do, uh, do the seat build and mounting. But Brennan's got his hands full right now with that latest carbon Ferrari of his. So, you know, trickle down economics, it ended up in my shop. So, I have gone through and done all the fabrication. It was actually pretty straightforward. Um, we took a, a ready-made golf cart seat kit uh, for adding a rear seat onto a cargo golf cart kind of thing. And then we just kind of had to modify it to fit the car. So. We found there's a couple of M6 bolts that hold the rear fascia on that are really good to mount the armrest to. We found that we can mount the, the bottom plate and footrest the, to the, uh, the, the tow hook locations. Uh, I did try to find a bolt that would just thread right into those tow hook holes, but they're really weird Acme, I think they're like an 8 TPI Acme thread. Uh, so short of buying bar stock or, or getting it laid to the correct dimensions, um, I just said to hell with that. I pulled the whole back half of the car off, drilled those holes out so that they would accept a half inch coupling nut that I laid the shoulder into, welded those in, put the car back together again. So now we just got two half inch female threads on the bottom of the car. So that's where we'll mount the bottom uh, kind of foot panel to. And we've got the M6s on the body to mount the handrails to. And then the, uh, the bottom seat just mounts directly to the tailgate of the car. There's a flip up plastic hatch there. So we have access to the underside where we can drill some holes and run some bolts through there. We did have to build a little aluminum pull tab so that you can still access the uh, or activate the latching mechanism when the seat is bolted onto that tailgate because you still want to be able to open that tailgate up that's where you store the charger for this electric version uh, and it's also just a nice little storage spot and it makes bolting and unbolting that seat pretty easy so that's the bottom seat the foot rest the handrails the back seat rest back seat seat backrest seat backrest uh, it was a little bit more complex. The smart card doesn't have any anywhere to really bolt to on the inside. So what we did is used a piece of angle iron to sit on top of the latches for the, the tailgate. The latches for the tailgate are pretty sturdy, um, but we needed something to, to grab onto those latches or those... Uh, not technically the latches, they're where the latch engages to. You guys all know what they look like, a little loop in the back. So we took a couple of chunks of flat bar, spent a bunch of time with a file, and uh, machined a couple of nuts that'll, that'll fit up against the, the, the brackets on the bottom and capture those, uh, those loops on the car. After that, it was pretty easy. Then we had a bar across the back, do a little bit of welding, puts uh, some brackets on it and then the back seat rest bolts right onto that bracket. So all the fabrication's done. We gave her a quick lick of paint. 
uh, and I took the car to get washed and then it snowed six inches last night so now I'm dealing with a wet garage but uh, we're ready to start uh, reassembly so we'll we'll whip that together and then touch base back with you guys Alright, that is a golf cart seat on a smart car. A smart cart. Um, this is as far as I'm going to take the project. There are a few other things that have to happen, but uh, Jason can handle those in his own shop. He just couldn't do the, the little minor fabrication. He doesn't have a welder. So, uh, I did this. He's got to do the back glass. He's going to cut this part. He's going to do the doors and whatnot and a stereo and stuff like that. But um that's as far as we're going to take this one when i talked to brandon he said that this uh putting the seat on should take me about a weekend you know a day of fabrication a day of paint and finish and then a little bit of assembly uh i think i've had the car now for four weeks five weeks maybe even uh so we're right on schedule for how we operate but uh we're all done with this we move back on to our car uh, get some progress made on that in the next episode. I want to get the hood wrapped up. I'm getting real sick and tired of fiberglassing. Uh, so I want to get all of that wrapped up and then stop getting distracted and get the thing running and driving and on the road. But that'll be next episode. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media. I don't post anything on there. So uh, we'll see you next video. I'm out of here.